Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the Java project video tutorial series for the Java Eclipse GUI tutorial session number seven. And in this session, we will learn how to open the second JFrame by clicking the button. So for this thing, we are just open this application as we are working on the last uh, program and just go and add click on the source here and right click on the source here and when you just select the other option then you will see a J frame here J frame click it on and I will name it the student information form the name of the class and just finish it okay just like a new activity and uh, it, this is the obviously okay now we will uh, have some resize this window and uh, I will take absolutely out here and use a J label and here dash sorts Na name this text here the soft the soft student form change the size font size make it area there are a lot of different kinds of fonts here I am choosing the area, make it bold, make the size 18 and now right click on it and check the auto size component, it will automatically select the auto size component here and one more thing and uh, okay, okay now we will need to click on this login form then click on this login form then it will open the second form here so for this thing we need to create the instance of the this class the student information here and uh, i am going to add it here student information student form is equal to new student information after this you will call student form dot set visible and make this property uh, as true now I will run this program okay now I will click on this form and then the new activity was created but you can see that the other form was visible on its own place so for this thing I am using uh, the login form and this login form was uh, created here this dot dispose of this is, this is the, uh, login form dot mm, frame is the property here frame dot dispose okay now we will run this program once again and now I am clicking on the login and then you can see that the login form are disposed automatically so thank you very much for watching this tutorial you just need to create the instance of the class which is all created by you and then after that you just make it visible here thank you very much for watching this tutorial and Allah Hafiz